Greetings and welcome to NewZimbabwe.com News. I am Akanaka Masenya. My story is making the headlines. Angry tobacco farmers plead with Pali for help in the courts. Paring at court trial, prosecutor fails to revive crumbling case in business. Zimbabwe's risk factor pushes first mutual in Botswana direction. And sports. Taibu to launch autobiography in Liverpool. Now the news in greater detail. Tobacco farmers have expressed displeasure at the low prices being offered for the crop at the auction flows and Tuesday pleaded with Parliament for help. The farmers begged the Parliamentary Committee on Lands and Agriculture during a familiarization tour of the Boka and Premier Tobacco auction flows in Harare to urgently investigate the matter as most of them were now stranded. <laughs> Prices currently range between 40 cents and a dollar US per kilogram of tobacco. Pressure group Chajamuka Sesejikile is planning to undertake Arab Spring type demonstrations in protest of a recent increase in the price of bread. Early this week, bakers increased the price of bread by 50% from $2 RTGS to $3 RTGS in response to a decision by government to increase the producer price of grains by 70%. According to the pressure group known for its radical approach to issues, if Munangago fails to address the country's problems, he risks the wrath of the people. In the courts, suspended Chief Magistrate Mishrot Govamombe has filed an urgent chamber application at the High Court seeking a review of a ruling by a lower court in which he was challenging his trial by subordinates. It is the latest in a series of bids by the suspended chief magistrate seeking to wriggle his way out of a sticky situation that continues like a soap opera. Guva Mombe, who is facing criminal abuse of office charges and another one of defeating cause of justice, he had challenged prosecution at the magistrate court, arguing that it was unethical to be tried by his juniors. He further argued that no magistrate in the southern African region, retired or serving, was qualified to hear his case. Still in the courts, a Harare magistrate has heard that former health minister David Parrengatwa had built so much confidence with the board at state drugs manufacturer National Pharmaceuticals that they were prepared to take anything he said. Former NATFAM board chairperson George Washaya under cross-examination from prosecutor Brian Vito, insisted that Parinyatwa did nothing wrong and that he appointed new men Madzikwa with the full backing of the board. It is Parinyatwa's defense that he did what was expected of him as a minister. He argued that it was the ministry's decision to employ Madzikwa. The trial continues next week. In business... First Mutual Holdings Limited plans to strengthen its Botswana unit in a bid to spread risk, Group Chief Executive Officer Douglas Hoto has said. Hoto told NewZimbabwe.com business that the move has been motivated by factors centered on risk diversification. The First Mutual Life's local subsidiary maintained an operating profit of 5 million RTGS dollars despite an increase in administration costs driven by inflation. We shall be taking a short break. We will be back soon. Fellow friends, um, family and my Zimbabwean diaspora, um, I have experienced death and I can tell you that um, death is um, inevitable and yet such a big taboo subject as Africans. Uh, please don't put it off. 
guarantee your family a decent send-off. Talk to Diaspora Funeral Cashman today. They're just a phone call away and they will put you at ease. In sports, Zimbabwe cricket legend Tatenda Taibu will launch his autobiography, Keeper of Faith, in Liverpool, England on Easter Monday, April 22, less than two weeks after launching a cricket academy in Harare recently. The 35-year-old legendary wicket keeper, batsman, who played 28 tests and 150 ODIs, launched the Bill Flower Cricket Academy at Alexandra Sports Club in Arare, which he named in honor of the former cricket development coach and father of legendary brothers, Grant and Andy Flower. Taibu is now expected to host the official unveiling and book signing of his first autobiography, Keeper of Faith, which will be held at the Liverpool based formed by Cricket Club, where he is currently contracted as player and coach. The autobiography, written in collaboration with British author Jack Gordon Brown, is expected to be available on Amazon on May 23. To end this news bulletin, here's a recap of headlines once more. Angry tobacco farmers plead with Pali for help, and the courts. Paringa to a trial, prosecutor fails to revive crumbling case in business. Zimbabwe's risk factor pushes first mutual in Botswana direction. In sports, Taibo to launch autobiography in Liverpool. Reporting for newszimbabwe.com, I am Makanaka Masenyama. For these and more stories, do visit our website www.newszimbabwe.com and our YouTube channel, Music TV.